Hmm. Yes. Beauty. Bore, so you can, uh, oops. Oops, uh, I think. Ah, no. Yeah. And can you make it a little bigger? So if, can you make a full screen or what? Uh, so I, so it's a full screen now. And is it, <clears throat> is it work? So it's, okay. it's, it's uh, well, it's okay if it will not be uh, mm -hmm. a so small it's print. It's just a full screen. And, um, I think you can enable might, presentation uh, mode where it will be completely full screen. Uh, presentation mode, uh, I'll try. Something uh, like Command L or com yeah, Control Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it just Command L. Um, Mm. Mm, let's so so it's a presentation mode but i i could i could just zoom in something like this but i don't know try to kill this panel on the right is it possible then it might be might be that it will be slightly bigger. I think you can, uh, if you in Zoom, in, if you share not just one window, but the whole screen, and then enter presentation mode, it will work, so. Uh, so I can. Well, more or less the same, except that. Um, what can you enlarge it a little bit or not? Oh, well, that's. that's so I said, now I just zoom in the. That's too much. That's, that's too much. Definitely... no, 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 no. Uh, zoom so it out, works. please. Zoom out a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's fine, I think. Uh -huh, okay, cool. So. Okay, so again, I say last talk of this very intense session will be by uh, Bore Bichkov from the Faculty of Mathematics, as you see from Kyle School of Economics, Moscow. And Bore will continue uh, the stuff started by Petya about topological recursion for hypergeometric KP generalized Hurwitz endpoint functions, please. Yeah, so first I'd like to thank uh, Leone and uh, Sergei for, for organizing this, this beautiful conference, this beautiful workshop. And uh, I'll continue Peter's talk and uh, we'll talk about topological recursion for this uh, generalized Horowitz uh, functions. Uh, so again, it's uh, <laughs> just the same um, uh, works with uh, Peter, uh, Maxim Kazarian and Sergei Shadrin. Uh, and uh, so, uh, great, <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, it works. So uh, just to remind the notations from Peter's talk, so uh, to formulate the topological recursion, uh, I need the not endpoint functions, uh, but uh, endpoint differentials omega. And uh, to remind, we had we, we start uh, with uh, from the bottom to the top. So we start with this psi and y uh, as a formal power series uh, at start, and then we have this uh, partition function z, and we have uh, these functions h, g, n, uh, and the uh, which are uh, generating function for, for our numbers uh, from all the cases that, that Peter mentioned. And so we have WGN and omega GN the endpoint differentials. Uh, so, uh, so I would like to formulate the topological recursion uh, via loop equations. So due to Boro in Arantan and Boro Shadrin, uh, so uh, the uh, collection of, of endpoint differentials on a spectral curve satisfies the topological recursion if and only if it satisfies three properties. Uh, and uh, now here sigma is a Riemann surface x and y and function 
functions on sigma and by now i want to uh, that we have simple zeros of dx that p1 etc pn uh, are simple zeros so it's not uh, so uh, important for us um, because of the this so-called bouchard in r a recursion uh, also works in uh, in in our cases and i'll i'll talk about it later but now by now uh pulls no, zeros of dx are simple and then these th three uh, properties are linear local equation uh, quadratic local equation and projection property so the linear local equation means that this expression of uh, omega uh, a consistent omega gn is holomorphic in, in z and here sigma i of z is just a deck trans transformation near these simple uh, critical points p1 etc pn and the quadratic loop equation reads that this this expression uh, is holomorphic uh, in z uh, near the, the near the zeros of dx again and the projection property reads that uh, this uh, omega gn um, is uh, has no poles other than in in pi's in each of its arguments. Uh, so this is the uh, these are three property which we want to we want to prove for our uh, wide general um, endpoint differentials. And in fact. Uh, I want to I want to divide these these uh, three properties properties in two parts. The first part is a so-called blob topological recursion. So, if um, the uh, if we have uh, an point differential which uh, satisfies the linear loop equation and quadratic loop equation, then it means that uh, uh, the these differentials satisfies blob topological recursion and the third property the projection property uh, i'll so um will consider uh, separately a little bit separately so yes uh, so but to to state the topological recursion itself so uh, i want to remind you that we started from with just a formal power series this psi and y if you remember just just a formal power series but to just to formulate topological recursion uh, we have to put some analytical uh, assumptions on, on this um, series on the series uh, psi and y and this we call it um, natural natural analytical assumptions just to formulate uh, topological recursion and this analytical assumption means that this uh, aforementioned uh, as, as Peter said this uh, uh, change of variables this spectral curve from um, the work of uh, Alexander Chakui and Aaron Farna uh, so the, this uh, natural analytical assumption means that this uh, series has non-zero radius of convergence and uh, that it extends analytically to the meromorphic function on, on the Riemann surface with the Z uh, is a affine coordinate. And uh, that the this one form dx uh, is a meromorphic and uh, and has a finite number of zeros. So this 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 analytical assumption, this natural analytical assumption uh, needed for for this for for this statement just to to able to uh, formulate topological recursion and also we uh, sorry we want uh, that the all coefficients of this third um, assumption that the coefficients of uh, powers of h bar in psi and y are rational function uh, in Z, and these uh, they are singular points and are different from uh, from zeros of dx. So 
again this psi and y are are these guys yes it's a formal power series in y and h bar and z and h bar okay so and under this uh, natural analytical assumptions we have uh, blob recursion so the theorem uh, that under this uh, natural analytical assumptions these symmetric differentials uh, satisfy linear and quadratic loop equation so uh, we have the blob topological recursion in full generality uh, but it's not so uh, the, the picture not so nice for the third property for the projection property uh, it's uh, a little bit subtle uh, and uh, in this case we have two uh, in the case of projection property we have two families uh, of initial data of psi and y uh, and for these two families we able to prove uh the projection property but uh these uh, these two families are um quite quite big and all all known cases fits in uh, in these two families and but we so we didn't um prove uh, projection property in full generality but but we have these two families um okay so what corollaries of of this topological regression here i just uh, repeat the peters um peters tables uh, so we just the same tables as in peters talk so we have uh, topological regression is in all known cases of uh, Hurwitz numbers and it's uh or befold and double variations and uh, in also in ash deformed case also uh, for r spin and for default and then for for Aguri Wafa, uh, case also and uh, also as uh, as peter said that we have uh, we we have a proof of um, Elbers and uh, Gaetan conjecture for for fully simple maps, and uh, also we have. So we, to speak the truth, we we didn't uh, uh, write it down, but we have a recipe to present uh, USV, USV type formulas uh, in all these cases using the technique of uh, ANR and. Uh, this paper of uh, Pietro Zorantan, Shadrin and Spitz, uh, which also Peter mentioned, uh, Peter mentioned. And uh, also our theorem about blob topological recursion and projection properties, so our theorem about topological recursion um, extends to the case of non-simple uh, zeros of the X of course under natural analytical assumption when we are able to speak about this uh this pulse uh, then the bouchard in our recursion uh works um, for for all this for all these cases so for all these two uh, families uh okay so i have a little time so about a few slides about the proofs uh so in the in in peter's talk uh there was a main formula and indeed all this topological recursion is a consequences of this uh, explicit formula for uh w gns and uh lineal equation is just a direct consequence uh, of uh, the explicit formula and uh, about the quadratic loop equation the situation is following so here uh, here the the main guy on this slide is curly uh, this curly wgn uh, which is uh, a coefficient by 
uh, age bar of this this um, curly t and uh, this curly t uh, is a sum over uh, ordinary t's and this ordinary t is a, this guy is a sum, sum of uh, of w uh, w guys so it's not it is not a very and this s uh, curly s is just just the same uh, function as in peter's talk is exponent of zeta minus exponent of minus zeta over zeta over z um, so this is not not, not very nice uh, formula but uh, as peter mentioned that we have a we didn't we didn't write it down just to, because of uh, lack of time but we have a correlation formula for for wgn and uh, for curly wgn we also have a, a formulas uh, correlator formula and it's just a small modification formula for curly w uh, curly w just a small modification of the formula of, of WGM. And uh, yes, and how, how this uh, curly guys um, connect, uh, connect with the loop equation uh, as the following. So we have a, if, if we take a u to the power r coefficient of um, this curly w, then we'll have uh, uh, so-called, as we call it, higher loop equations. For example, for uh, the coefficients coefficient of u squared, uh, we have uh, the expression for quadratic loop equation. And so, what we want to prove that this guy is um, holomorphic in uh, near the zeros of dx. And uh, so, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, curly W is a small modification, uh, uh, small modifications of um, ordinary W G N, and uh, this uh, formula very similar to those uh, in Peter's talk. Just here, uh, we have a U one tilde, uh, small modification of. Uh, of u1 of all, of all other u's and uh, the analysis uh, the formula um, from the previous um, paper some from, from the previous talk uh, allow us to prove this um, homomorphicity of this expression mm, okay so uh, this is about and it works in a full generality again, uh, this uh, linear and quadratic loop equations. And uh, so the projection property, uh, the, the proof uh, is the following. So we reformulate uh, the projection property in the language of this uh, space theta um and so the space theta is a the, the one year span of, of these functions on the Riemann sphere uh, that has poles only in these points p1 etc pn and the the principal part in these points uh are is odd with respect to to, to the our to our deck transformations and the the statement is that the uh, uh, WJN satisfy the, this projection property plus the linear loop equation, if and only if uh, corresponding HJN uh, lie in this uh, space theta. Uh, and this analysis of of this uh, when when this HJN lie in the space theta uh, gives us these two big uh, families uh, which i which i've mentioned 
Um, okay, and uh, yes, so I think that's all. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Bore. Um, Questions? Uh, yes, I have a question. Yeah. Um, yes. So you have these two families of, of uh, yes. well, these two classes where, where uh, topological regression works, um, which, they, well, they, they are already very big, so that, that's, that's great. But do you have any uh, reason for this particular these particular classes? Do you think that this proof would hold in high and even <laughs> so, larger so, generality in some way? Yeah, yeah. So to speak the truth, the the these families themselves, it's the consequences on what we uh, can prove uh, uh, about this theta space, which I mentioned mm -hmm. on the last slide. Uh, because it, it, it's just a case by case analysis that there are no other poles. Right. Um, so, so like a naive guess, uh, the, these two families have some kind of overlap. So, what, what if you take, so in family one, the psi's are more general, and family two, the, the y's are more general? What if you take the general psi from family one and the general y from family two? Is there something that goes wrong in that case? Yeah. So uh, yes, so it, it it could it could go wrong. So we, we have we have to take uh, on, only this. So this this p this polynomial this ah, ah so I, I I don't write down. So this p p one two three and r one two three are polynomials. Mm -hmm. uh, so and we uh, without loss of generality we, we we can put it with the um, uh, simple uh, zeros, uh, but but yes, uh, if if these families overlap, it 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 may not work. Yeah, so we we prove okay. just just these these families. Yes. So basically, we look at the explicit formula for AGN, which uh, we have, uh, which Bohr has shown, and uh, which I shown and I've shown in my talk. So we have, mm -hmm. we look at this explicit formula, and uh, then, uh, if, for instance, like you said, if we take uh, the general psi for family one and general y for family two, combine them like that, uh, we there, there are problems with showing that there are no poles. So we need to show that there are no poles outside of the zeros of dx. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then uh, if we combine them, for instance, like that, uh, so we try to do this, but it's problematic to, to show that uh, the, the poles cancel. So uh, we don't see it. So, so we don't have some general observation why uh, the, this, there are no other poles. Uh, and so it's uh, just a very, yeah. very, very technical proof of, of this. May I make okay. some. Bore, Bore, could you show the next slide, please? Uh, yes. Oops, yes. So I would like to give an example. So consider the case of R speed or default uh, mm -hmm. with numbers. If you tend, if you Take a limit for h equal going to zero, you will get exactly the same for atlans, what's called atlans of the first table. So, mm -hmm. the case of atlans and r still uh, or default for these numbers use the same spectral curve. Yes. So, if you, start, I, I if you consider the case of atlans, you, 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 you will get some rational expression for, for, for uh, w's. And they will satisfy both linear and quadratic loop equation, but they will have some extra poles. So in order right. to these poles, you need to, to take this H deformation of, of, of the spectral curve equation. And uh, what is what is the explicit form of this H deformation? It's uh, just a case by case analysis. It's not so obvious. So we have managed to uh, cover several cases, but not in full generality. The, the general fault is follows that in all cases where this corresponding spectral curve is rational, there is, this, uh, there is a uh, 
suitable edge deformation such that the extra falls cancel and they have a topological recursion, but we have not an expression uh, a setting in such full generality. Okay, thanks. Okay. More questions? Well, if no more questions, let's thank Bori again. And well, we conclude activities for today. So it's the very last day that remain tomorrow. Uh, and hope again to see you.